Hey everyone, here is our uh, kind of custom homemade chicken coop that we made a couple years ago. Uh, some people were asking questions about it, so I figured I'd do a quick run through, maybe give you some ideas for, for one that you're making. Um, this is, it was kind of designed to be easy to build based on standard dimensions. Uh, it ends up being eight foot wide and 12 foot long. So again, you can kind of use standard lumber for that. Um, I did end up making it a uh, just a, a single a sloped roof. Uh, it's actually just a one foot drop from left to right. So uh, I ended up just using standard uh, 12 foot two by fours and um, kind of cut it so that we have a, a, I guess this is a six and a half foot height here and then a five and a half foot height down below, uh, which ends up, you know, you can basically, you don't have any scrap when you're done with it. Um, I just did build a man door in here in the center and then we just stained everything this uh, kind of brownish, orangish color. For rafters, I just used two by four rafters across. Um, and then on the end for the, uh, for I guess all the way around it for the box, uh, I used two by six. Um, pretty simple construction. We ended up going with the kind of the fine mesh um, uh, screen all the way around and just stapled it in place. Uh, for latches, we ended up doing dual latches on everything just in case we get a pesky uh, uh, animal that's uh, smart. But uh, anyway, I'll show you around inside a little bit. So this just swings open. And during the day we open this up and let the chickens out and stuff too. But when the weather's bad or during the winter, a lot of times we just keep them inside because again, inside dimensions are uh, eight feet wide by 12 feet long as it is. So uh, we have just a little perch here for them. And again, they, the ceiling structure is just purlins and then um, have a couple of hurricane straps on both sides just to try to keep it down in case the wind gets a hold of it. But we haven't had any issues. Uh, we did put the the wire all the way up through and around everything so we tried to make sure that there are basically no holes in this entire um in this entire thing bigger than that half inch by half inch uh, size so we haven't even found mice or anything in here um we did make a little ramp here for them and then a little perch here and then it goes into the through the egg door and into the inside and i'll show you that here in just a little bit but for a a food Source, we have uh, typically have this one here that's kind of, again, homemade. I can go through details of how I made this um, in another video if you're interested. But this typically lasts our five chickens about two weeks um, before refilling, so it, it's pretty good. And then for water, uh, you can see kind of in the back there, uh, we use this one in the wintertime. It's uh, heated and it works really well, but we fill it from the outside, so I'll show you that in a minute. And then uh, I also have a, uh, a wise camera up underneath there, which is super helpful. It's just a battery powered one. And believe it or not, it lasts about six months or so on a charge. And from there, I can monitor the water level and the food level because um, this bucket you can kind of see through and, and see what the, the food level is when the sunshine is out. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of idea. Uh, we, have, we just have five chickens right now. Um, we had six and uh, one met an unfortunate death. But I'll show you the inside. The other thing I want to mention too is around the whole perimeter, we did put uh, some wire underneath these rocks just to prevent any sort of digging animals from getting in. Um, you can see there's, there's black mesh and then we actually put uh, just a wire mesh that comes out about oh, a foot and a half or so away from the, the, the uh, perimeter in all areas. And then that's stapled to the inside along the bottom so nothing can dig or get in there. And we haven't had any issues. And then I did add a, uh, a kind of a ground anchor there just in case the wind came and got a hold of this thing, but uh, we haven't had any issues. For the main access door, it's uh, here on the edge. I meant to put some nice, uh, you know, one bias cladding around it. I just haven't gotten around to it, but uh, it's, it's fully functional just the way it is. So again, dual latches, just in case we have critters. And on the inside, uh, I guess I do have a, have a keep open latch over here as well just to keep it open if we're in there. So the way we designed this, uh, everything is really easily cleanable. Um, so you can notice even our, our little ramp here just pulls out of the way. We got some screws that just kind of pin it in place, but this, this all just comes out during our cleaning and uh, it just slides right back into place. But the underneath of this is just um, some of this white vinyl that you can buy by the sheet, a four by eight sheet um, at Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. And uh, it's just, it's really thick, thin stuff, but it really helps keep all the mess 
um, up on top of it and it's super easy to clean. We just uh, brush it out when, uh, when it's full of poop. So we typically clean this about once every, oh, what do you think girls? Every four months, five months, something like that. Yeah. It goes a long time. If it gets really bad underneath the perches back there, sometimes we will uh, just clean that area and then refresh it with some new mulch or new, uh, new shavings. But it, it really is pretty self-sufficient and almost maintenance free. Um, we do have two egg boxes here. And for our five chickens, that's been plenty. Uh, we haven't had any issues there. Just a little perch in front of it. We do have just two perches back there, but typically they all go on the, the back perch in the, in the far side there. Uh, we also have another wise battery camera in here. And uh, again, that's set up so that we can see if they're on the perches at night, if they made it inside, and we can count how many eggs are in the egg box uh, remotely. So that's honestly, if, if you guys are within Wi-Fi range of your, um, your house, I highly recommend these cameras. They're super helpful for this kind of stuff. Um, and then maybe I'll, maybe I'll put a clip in of what those pictures look like if I think about it. Uh, the other thing is I did insulate this entire thing. And again, this is a four by eight uh, box here. And again, that was just due to dimensional lumber. It was easy to make the size. We have one, one sheet of um, treated plywood on the bottom, um, even though it is, it is covered. So it doesn't get actually any moisture on it. And then on the edges, we just use this peel and stick one by one uh, floor tile and use that all the way around the edges just to keep in any sort of moisture that, that might get uh, near there. It keeps it off of the, the OSB. And then again, I did put bat insulation in the sides in between the uh, two by fours. And then in the ceiling, we used this, uh, some leftover pink uh, two inch styrofoam um, that I had from a previous project. And that was originally up there by itself, but the chickens started pecking at that area above their perch. So we put in a piece of OSB just above that to keep them away from it. Uh, we do have a window over there. That's just an old basement window that we had laying around. And then we covered that with, again, that, that screen. And we haven't had any predator issues. Uh, but I'll back away here and I'll, I'll go and show you our, uh, our water setup. Actually, this is our water and our egg setup over here. So again, here's that window. Uh, and in the winter time, um, we, we just close this off and uh, lock it up and uh, it honestly stays nice and warm in there. In the summertime or in the springtime, we'll crack it open a little bit like that just for ventilation. And then in the summertime, we'll open it right up and their perch is right there. That way they get a nice breeze right through from the, the egg door all the way through um, and out this side. For the the egg hatch, or sorry, the, the nesting boxes, we do again have dual, dual latches on this side. And then since our kids are small, uh, we also made a little uh, step down below so that they can get on the step and then they can pull on this handle and it opens up to reveal um, the nesting boxes here. And uh, typically we'll get four or five eggs per day, um, one, one a chicken or so. We got eight one time. Yes, we, we've gotten several. They do slow down in the winter time, but overall it's been a good experience. And then again, we made it so that it hinges and closes down. That way, even if they, the kids did forget to latch it, it's still a fairly safe situation. But we, um, we always try to latch it. And then for our water system, as I said, oh, we got one eating right here now. For our water situation, we, have, we wanted to make it easy for the kids to give them water without having to go in the pen every single day. So we have a, a bucket in there with this little latch. And if you pull on this, we got kind of a makeshift pulley system that opens up the top of the latch and reveals the water level and then they simply pour jugs of water down here and it goes right down and into the bucket from the outside. So that's easy to do when they come out and get the eggs. Uh, they try to top off the water. And, uh, and then again, this one is actually heated. So we, we plug this in in the winter time. We've had this for two years and uh, it's been perfect. It hasn't frozen at all on us. Uh, we typically unplug it though here in March or April and then I'll uh, leave it that way. So that's about it, I think. Oh, the other thing is for the, the roof, um, we just use standard tin. Um, but again, we try to do a one foot overhang on all sides, uh, just kind of for aesthetics, but then it also keeps the under underside extremely dry throughout the year. Um, it ends up being, the, the, since the base is eight feet by 12 feet, the roof is uh, basically again standard lumber, but it's uh, 14 feet by uh, 10 feet. Um, I think that is about it. Did you have something else, Harper? That you need to use filtered water. Oh yeah, that's that's true. We, we try to use filtered water for the chickens so that it doesn't uh, get gum up the their water dish out here. We try to clean that water dish out, oh, every couple months or so. Um, but uh, we try to use good water so that it stays better longer. 
and we got somebody in there making a big mess. <laughs> That's about it. If you have any questions or comments or ideas, um, feel free to, to hit me up. Um, we are going to be working on making a an auto feeder out here that holds a lot more food and they can be filled from the outside. So if you're interested in anything like that, uh, stick around. I'll be posting a video about that um, here in a little bit. So anyway, that is it. And uh, again, feel free to uh, add some comments down below. I'd, I'd love to hear some other ideas that you guys have. Overall, we love the chickens. Uh, we've had them uh, ju just about two years now. And uh, it's, it's a great uh, great pet that's super low maintenance. Like I say, if we go away on vacation or whatnot, we can, we can leave these for a week at a time easy uh, with no issues. We just try to get somebody to, to come and grab the eggs for us. So um, for, for bedding, one last thing, we just switched out the bedding recently, or not the bedding, the, the run here today uh, for the first time in two years. And uh, they, it, it actually was in great condition still. It really wouldn't have needed it, but we just put down some more um, just mulch that we had over in a pile. So anyway, super simple, easy to maintain, easy to take care of. Um, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.